Hello and welcome to Stellaris Mega Corporations Patch 2.2. Thank you to Paradox for giving me a early uh, access to the new DLC. Uh, yeah, let's just play off, and I'm actually gonna play. Um, it's gonna create something new, and um, it's gonna not be entirely new, but it's some it's a little bit new. It, yeah, yeah. Anyway, of course we're gonna play with the Mega Corporation, but uh, kind of want to stick with my. Uh, with my dwarven roots, if you know what I mean, uh, and I have an idea, so uh, we'll uh, call ourselves, I don't know, uh, I don't know, uh, what about a dwarf, but with a V, just to piss off some people, there we go, that's gonna piss off some people, I could write a whole biography, I think that's not that interesting for now, uh, let's see... Um, there is one of the humanoids that used to be interesting at least, but... It's not it. They've been throwing this shit around as usual. Uh, Maxwell Potter. Uh, the, the names I don't like, the ship's names I do like actually. Um, yeah, there used to be one, <laughs> well, whatever, ah, whatever, is this annoying me, yes, yes it is, I'll uh, stick with this, I guess, well, how does this original, first fleet, second fleet, third fleet, hmm, Nah, I'm getting stuck here on this stupid stuff. Ah, this somehow works for me, I don't know. Right, we... I'm gonna actually select traits later. Our home world is gonna be a... Uh, an alpine world. Hell, we were, this is the home world of... Uh, Ter. Star name is... Sul. And I actually kinda want a... Letter here that I actually cannot type with my current keyboard. Uh, you with umlaut. Uh, yeah, can I get the uh, non-capital version here for a second there? I don't know if Solaris actually uh, accepts me doing this, but uh, there you go. Let's see who does pick up. Hey, there we go. Right, I don't know why. Yeah, you know, Terra, Sol. We're gonna be in a... Um, I think I'm going to have a million city. Because that looks the most dwarvish to me, except for reptilians, maybe, but yeah. Right, so we're going to be a mega corporation. We, uh, we are going to be pretty fanatically materialists. However, I'm actually not going to go robotics. Just saying that ahead of time. And um, I think a little bit of authoritarianism is uh, also on the case, because uh, we're... Uh, we're gonna have, we're, we're we're gonna have a little bit of a criminal heritage. We're gonna be we uh we uh we yeah we're gonna be a we we're a bit of a bad bunch of bastards. Uh, let's see. Well, while this sounds awesome, it is not really what it, what I was looking for. Monthly unity franchising. Uh, the effects of subsidy or subject power and relations. The impact of branch offense is, is, is decreased. Nah. Not to gonna do slavery, so that's not gonna be really work. Private prospectors. This allows us to build a little bit larger, which might be really good, but I think I'm gonna go for franchising, because we're gonna have a lot of branch offices, and uh, they're gonna be of criminal nature, so branch offices, uh, and because we're a, a new mechanic empire size, uh, administrative cap, um, because we're a megacorp, it's gonna be a little bit lower. Uh, I actually don't have my own voice mod running. Damn it. Well, uh, I'll stick with the ruthless conglomerate. To live is to consume. Yeah, sure, that works for me. Uh, but you actually have a couple of new ones. So you've got this one. Every successful economy is built around a hopeless cycle of repetition where we sell you the empty promise of happiness and fulfillment. And unfulfilled as ever, you still come back for more. 
Well, that's definitely not depressing. Our multidisciplinary customer satisfaction specialists are always just a click away. Don't hesitate. Discover limitless possibilities with Megacorp today. Megacorp. The future is our present. Our goal is to create a galactic system that maximizes innovative self-actualization and redefines future-proof solutions for every stage of a customer's life. Megacorp. We're with you every step of the way. Definitely not creepy. And uh, we've got, of course, this one. The springs of cooperation flow most abundant. Those who need will receive. Those who make will make wonders. The springs of cooperation, workers of the galaxy, unite. You have nothing to lose but your restraining fields. So for you uh, people that want to get the glorious communism out there in space, you have a voice to go with it. Um, we call ourselves... Uh, I actually want to look up something. What is it called? Right. The Carta. Carta. Our flag. Let's see. We're going to be uh, corporate. Let's see. Uh, I like this one. It's a bit dwarfy. Nah, this one has a little bit more hooky in it. Um, wow, we actually have proper primary blacks now. Okay. Secondary, we're going to do a little bit of gold. Yeah, I like a little bit of gold. And, uh, you know, the sun goes uh, down and us is seeing here. Right. Um, let's see. I kind of want to play with planetoid ships for once. Our ruler, I don't really care if it's a male or a female. Do I need to select that actually? Whatever, there we go. Uh, this is gonna be uh, the. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Let's see. A, a cool name for, for this guy or gal. It needs to be like the. It's not the CEO, that doesn't work for me. Like, um, I don't want to go for the Godfather. It's <clears throat> Especially if it's a female, that will become problematic. Um, hey, we've got new dwarf hairstyles. Cool. Another reason to play more with the dwarves. This looks weird. I'll accept it. Um, there we go. That looks like a proper badass. Uh, let's get something more akin for our underground. No, no, we're a we're, we're above ground, you know. We 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 in the high rises of Ter. Um, mm, let's see. Let's pick a beautiful Google Translate here. Uh, trans. Um, is there? Uh, 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 I just gotta. I'm just. But I. Uh, there's a. Fictional language here. Is there any words known of this? Ah, uh, damn it. I don't think so. Uh, hmm. There isn't... Okay, I'm looking at the uh, Lord of the Rings language. I'm trying to find out to... Uh, see if there's any known... There are, there are not very many words known. What are head? Let's see. We've got... Let's see. You know, I actually like this. So, I'm going to steal some shit here. And hopefully this picks it up. Kazat. Yeah, you know, I'm not not uh, not under, uh, you know. Ah, I've got it here. Uh, Gabil is great. And uh, even the females have beards for us, so... It's got to be the great, and I've found here the uh, Turk. There's a asterisk here. Why? 
Hmm. Maybe it's not entirely sure, I guess. Eh, whatever. I like it. The Gabil Turk. Uh, we have no air names, because that's... Uh, I want to call Jesus. That's a bit weird. Okay, there we go. Right. Should have installed the Dwarf Nameless mod, but, you know, that's not even up to date anyway. So, uh, yeah. Um, we are the Karta. We have Urkuts of Kazat. This is our name list. We're going to stick with that. Right, I still have to do the trades. Um, let's say uh, we're thrifty. Nah, let's see. It's uh, just going to... Uh, I, I, we're going to be slow breeders because I think dwarves in, in general are a bit slow with that. But we are also uh, enduring. We live a little bit longer. So that, take, you know, that takes care of the slow breeding bit. Uh, we're definitely not conservative, to be honest. So let's just get that out of there. We are... Uh, we're not deviants. I hate... Uh, it's really because I don't really like deviants. We're not solitary. We're not sediment. Uh... Yeah, we like the mountain, so, you know, piss off. And it's an honor to live on Terre, so we want to stay there. Uh, we can be a bit quarrelsome. We are a criminal card, right? So I've got one trade point left for to pick. Um, we could go for extremely adept if that makes it, because we are very, very hardy. But I could pick, take slow breeders out of there. Pick up um, adaptive, which I think is a little bit more our size, and... I'm going to say we're really intelligent. Um, thinking outside of the box. Mess with, yeah, you know, this actually would be nice to pick up. You know, why, why don't we skip on Enduring? And we're a... We don't want to move. Then we'll fight for it, bastards. We, uh, we're a bit adaptive. You know, we're, we're stout and hardy folk. But we also know how to make a lot of money. Right, that makes sense for me. Um, government ethics, I like it. 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 Um, so yeah, let's see. You know, this makes sense. Like a little, little, little bit royal, a little bit royal, and it's the the grand beard of Tendajnigma, which is unpronounceable for me. And we're on an Alpo in world called Ter. Safe, right? The card has been saved. Done. Well, we already spent 12 minutes just creating a species. We're gonna go galaxy size this. Um, let's go on captain as difficulty. I think I'm gonna leave all of this as is because I kind of like it. Um, however, I'm gonna enable, and I'm gonna disable, by the way, uh, Iron Man mode because we're recording. I gotta give this one guaranteed habitable world. I like. I kind of like that you can turn this off, but I've been playing this with this off, and I've never really found habitable worlds nearby anymore, so that's annoying. One will do. Luckily, we are a mega corporation, so we're gonna be a little bit taller. So, yeah. So, we are the Karta. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna enforce our criminality upon the galaxy, which... Uh, Means we also need to be a bit of an enforcer, because large fleets are going to be really, really important. Because you're going to be pissing off a lot of people. Right, here we are. And, uh... Cool. Right. Actually, I wanted to change the home system a little bit. Ah, you know what? Where are we? Ah, I don't like the starting place. <laughs> I want to do one more thing. I actually forgot that. Uh, edit. Um, has to do with the... Home world. Uh, I think this is the one. There. Uh, Trinity of Three Stars. It's a random binary two. Uh, single star. There was a... There we go. That's the one I wanted. We are a orbiting a gas giant as a moon. There's actually uh, a post about it on Facebook. The day I'm recording this, so, uh, you know. When I saw that, it was just like, yes, I finally know what I'm going to play. I'm actually also writing out a little bit of lore for these guys, because I'm going to play these in multiplayer. With a, a large group of friends, if you want to join. Join the RPS community. And uh, I don't know if that's still a, how you get there, actually. It might be word of mouth these days. Well, the Carta. So, here we are. And uh, me, me just let's just start with the beginning. A lot of shit is new. You might have seen this, you might have not seen this. Um... Okay, this is actually fairly useful, because uh, I actually know most of these now uh, by now, so locking this is actually kind of good. 
There we go. Well, we've got like this is known. This is a little bit new though. There's still food, we know that. Food behaves differently though. Uh, and gets stacked up a lot higher than normally. Uh, we've got now consumer goods, alloys, influence, we know unity. Research is now underneath this little menu. We've got uh, your special materials, which we already know a lot of them exist, apparently. This is empire size, it was we're talking about with the uh, administrative cap. Because we are a um, mega corporation, it's actually halved for us. Um, but because we're corporate, we already have 20 more. Uh, we, this is the amount of systems, your planets, your population, and you know, that's, that's fairly nice, don't know. Now, what also is something I noticed is this, there's, I, there's a couple of systems here which I don't understand yet, and I really have to start reading through some of the um, dev diaries to get a, a feel on it. One of them is how trade works. Um, this here, I don't know what it does, I still have to figure this out, and I'll, I'll read on, on that today. Um, that's one. Two, everything right now is in sectors, which is a little bit weird, and I don't know why that is. It's no longer the old sector system, you've got a new sector system. Every planet spawns its own sector. Anyway, let's get on to the planet view. This is the planet view, you got your population, which still is here, but it's um, a little bit more different. You just have slots, and you can, but you can just remove guys from slot if you want to, but why would you? So this is your production. We actually have a guy unemployed. Well, let's put him back in. And unemployed people are unhappy people. You got your ruler class. You got your specialist class. These guys are, you know, uh, like these guys turn more minerals into uh, um, consumer goods, which is now no longer a direct drain on your mineral count, but it's actually a separate resource, which actually has a purpose. Now you also turn the minerals into alloys. Which is used for ships and star bases and that kind of stuff. We turning consumer goods into research. It, like consumer goods are really important because um, a lot of shit is, uh, you know, pushed into other stuff. Uh, this is just raw generation of shit. It's rather nice to be honest. Um, you got your armies. Nothing really much changed there except for you know the interface, the UI, and you've got your planetary devastation meter here. Uh, building, you've got your districts, which is mostly housing and a clerk job. A clerks produce trade value, which is still don't really know means, and amenities, which is your sort of happiness. The more if you got this, the happier your pop is. You got your generator districts, which creates two housing slots, and two technician jobs, which is the there we go, pure energy production. Now you got the same for minerals and same for food. Then you still got your building slots over here. There you go, got a couple of buildings, um, you know, I have to, you know, with crime. Um, so this is not really that different, but this is also where you build your, like, your civilian industries, which turn minerals into consumer goods, your alloy foundries, which produce minerals into alloys, that kind of stuff. So, um, pretty good, cool, right? Um, and yeah, you still have your your planetary uh, shit. You got ore rich caverns, which you could you dig out if you clear the blocker. So this is not really that much different. You got a lot of stuff here, which you know, max districts this, max districts for that. All kinds of good stuff. Right. Um, this is the total amount of limit you have in the, the, the so one, if you build one of these, this number goes down, because this is just the limit of things that are available. It's the total limit available that you can see here. I don't know why they did like a number here and blocks there, but there must probably reason. Maybe this can become really big, so you know, that would go down way too much. Um, yeah, there you got your trade value here. Uh, represents the civilian day-to-day -day economic activity. Starbases collect trade value and convert it into resources such as energy credits. If it's connected to your capital planet through trade route, trade value is directly collected by your capital starbase, does not need to trade route to generate resources. Still don't really know how that sh is supposed to work, but, uh, well, you know, there you got it. Right, um, this has not really changed much, so let's build a science ships, but now they're built no longer with minerals, but with alloys. And that is actually one of the things I really had to get used to initially, because uh, things are a lot different. Like, minerals are still used for most of the construction buildings, but but fleets are now run out of alloys, which is not generated in the uh, nearly the same rate um, as other stuff. Is this a closed off network? Yes, so I think I'm gonna do a survey here, a survey here. Let's start with that, and let's get, so instead of plus five, not plus three, well, let's get the research going here, there we go, bam. Right, the research, and I say like, whoa, fuck, this is really expensive to start with. <laughs> yes, it is, and we have a genius, a genius, and a longer living guy. Now, let's just speed up our research initially, 
So it says no progress because we don't know what our actually, actually monthly progress is. It's about 18. All right, so we're going to live with that. So there we go. Bam. 20% extra research at the end of that when that's done. So this is about as far we can go. I'm actually going to do one more thing. I cannot recruit leaders. Leaders have no recruiting cap anymore as far as I understand. They just cost upkeep now. Um, so when you recruit a guy, they just have an upkeep. Uh, different mechanic, kind of like it, because why would you have a limit? If you have a lot of money, why don't you be able to recruit, recruit more people? Right, so Strike Force Werewolf. Don't like that name. Well, I actually kind of do. I'm gonna max that out. I'm gonna go to the ship designer, fleet manager, ship designer. There we go. Said I knew all of this, didn't. Um, I'm gonna stop auto-generating designs, because I really don't like it doing that. And there we go. So you have this new outline manual. I'll just let it go open. Um, same stuff as usual. Different here at the market, which you can buy and sell resources to if you have a lot of cash. Uh, you can also set like monthly trades on here to start selling. Um, yeah, you got your new sector system here. So it's no longer, you can just still like, uh, you can still get your standard settings here. You can transfer resources. I don't know really what stockpile can be used to current sector to focus on planetary construction or whatever. And you can create vassals from se sectors, apparently. I don't know exactly how these sectors work. I haven't played that long. Uh, you got your standard edict list, uh, but there's some new shit in here because of the new um, materials. And your traditions is the same, the same, the same, the same. Yeah, that's, that's all actually fairly similar. So, well, there we go. Right. I like how this is not all here. Just one click away. No longer in the deep menus. So that's actually pretty awesome. So we're gonna go. Let's go. We're 20 minutes in and I haven't even started yet. So I'm gonna let the, run, let the first episode run a little bit longer. Um, because otherwise, you know, it's been me 20 minutes talking, setting up and no actual real gameplay much. Complete. Uh, we have the wrong voice here. Advisor, the to roof live. is up. <laughs> Even though I kind of like it, it makes no sense as a mega corporation to have that guy uh, be our voice. There we go, we got another guy. I uh, cannot recruit a scientist just yet, because they are expensive little bastards. But we'll be in a couple of months. <clears throat> in three more months. So I can actually put this guy already near the uh, jump point. So we're gonna fly the ship to the jump point. Uh, we'll arrive there in a couple days. Like these ships are are sh Ooh, slow as shit. I forgot I how so. crappy slow everything is at the start of the game. You know, just gonna wait for it to jump over to the month. Ooh, there we go. And um, we're gonna recruit a guy. Let's see. Uh, none of this is really anything that we want. However, what we can do is put you on there. And let's go to research. Uh, what? Did I? Oh crap, I got the wrong one. I uh, need to put the leader lifespan guy on there. Yep, there you go. Now you're gonna keep complaining. Then we're gonna put on a guy for military theory or, you know, particles. And let's keep going. Then we're gonna put you on particles. And then we're gonna put the other guy on there. There we go. Right, now you can go and kind of want to figure out what the um, nearest choke points are of the Empire, of our Empire. Because um, this might, this looks look locked off, and if that's the case, we're just going to build a quick uh, star stations uh, there and towards there, a long line, and then we're just going to fill up the center core, so we can lock off a portion of the There's galaxy for us. Hey, can we monetize this? Probably, so let's just try to monetize that. Um, let's see, I want to get the mining station here. After that, I'm going to go for the... There we go. Right. But yeah, this is just two, two jumps away, but it might be that this is... I'm going to explore a little bit further, but this looks like it's two uh, different things. I don't really want that, unless it just chokes up, but... You don't generate that much influence, and star bases are fucking expensive. They cost a hundred something plus alloys, I believe, just on top of my head. Yeah, a hundred alloys, and you don't generate them that much. Like every ten months or so, you can build one of them. So, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, research, and then next month we can do the mining station as well. There we go, right. Hey, Alpine World. Well, we found our uh, 
Alright. We found something. Right, so we got our guaranteed world right here. So 13 is not the greatest planet, but we'll, we'll, we'll pick it up. Even though colony ships are fucking expensive, by the way. Just, uh, just so you know. Um, you know, they cost consumer goods, alloys, and... Oh boy. I love the cult of purity class, which makes so little fucking sense. We've got to shake those hostiles. Oh boy. Medical priests have devoted the followers of the Tad broke away and established a religion to form of their own church. Log updated. We don't really have a holy shit, a sponsor our home system. Oh my god, I I did not expect that. Aggressive stands, recruit a general. Uh, let's see, ship upkeep. There we go. I like you. Go, 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 go. You, you, you. Stop being on, on that stance, because you don't otherwise know what to do. Do, do, do. Get the mining station built. After that, you'll move I'll to this stop. system. Fleet's getting what's coming to them. <laughs> okay, that just sounded epic. <laughs> we might actually lose a dude here. Cultist Log ship is updated. disabled. Just uh, keep shooting them down, please. They even have different types of ships. Oh, did we? No, there we go. I like these planetoid ships. Anomaly detected. Uh, leave me for now. That's a little bit too much, if you ask me. Okay, we won the combat. Nice. We did lose a ship, which is less nice. What do we need for this? A military ship in orbit. All right. Well, just go and research the project. All right. Let's get that done. I think I can re complete. refresh with one. Oh, I should have got two now. Um, I can take one. Oop, there we go. Research complete. We did it. Um. So, all right. Let's uh, pursue these terrorists. So this is actually Prospect gonna analyzed. go a little bit further. So let's track these on uh, the map. So we got. Two systems here and a system over there, which is uh, possibly filled with cultists. Now that means that we have a very early hostile star, and you know, our criminal heritage is, uh, I guess, is uh, catching up to us. Now let's uh, maybe we want to do it here because there is a possible planet here. Uh, no, I've got enough points, so we can just do, complete. do both. I think. Uh, I want you guys to uh, heal. Analyzed. Turn. There is no longer really a go home, I think. What if leads to their home base? Oh, no, there is. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Uh, that's the level 3 anomaly. Let's ignore that. Oh, we might actually go a little bit further because it seems like a dead end. Right? We discovered some uh, just positive rare crystals. Ah, right there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Boom. We built something. All right, so I'm gonna go with harmony first because uh, I like to getting the unity early as much as possible, especially for a species that has unity issues. This looks like a very long, weird I found arm. Something. Yeah, pick that one. That's fine. Okay, repairs have been completed. Right, so I, uh, I'm at least going to pick up this one because it just has uh, like a lot of nice stuff in there. I'm going to build the outpost here and then I'm going to move over there. Mm. Yeah, because by the time I think it's done, we'll have enough to build the last one as well. Interesting, got some extra stuff. Noise. We've got unemployment on our whole planet. Let's actually fix that. Um, let's get an alloy foundry going. So what you have here, this is the total amount of jobs you have, this is the total amount of population you have, and this is the amount of population housing you have left. So, uh, unemployment leads to, uh, yeah, they may reduce stability of the planet, so that might be with this stability here, and also might lead to criminals. Criminal behavior is not accepted. Research well, so we're building the Allied Foundry, because that's one of the... 
uh, initially for most limiting factors was the house influence on expansion, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm gonna fix that little problem first. All right, so we got that one built. Hmm. Uh, the armed vessel discovered in orbit of H seventy seven seven one J is an abandoned military spacecraft of the Infinite Pride. Live yeah. Updated. Let's do that. Um. So where is it exactly? Wait, what? It didn't really go to. Oh, that's over there. Oh, that's really annoying. Um, it looks like this is connected somehow. I kind of... Okay, I... While I like this thing, I think I'm going to tell... To research and survey. And I'm also going to just... I want to go and see if I can explore here. It's not going to be optimal. But what I can't... No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay, what I'm gonna do actually is not I'm not gonna do that fuck. I thought I'd maybe just build an extra science vessel, but Desert World and Savannah World. The Savannah World is actually pretty good. I don't really know. Habitability in the Desert World is not that good. Savannah World's even worse. Mm. Boom! I found something. Picking up unexpected pattern. Well, yeah. <laughs> I just love the optimism of the guy. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully see you guys in the next one. I'm really enjoying the new DLC so far. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Do enjoy it with me some more.